was created to be a perfect man. But one part of him was never quite finished. Coming soon to a video shop near you, Edward Colander Hands. <laughs> the story of an outsider and the town that grew to love him. God, this lettuce needs draining. <laughs> what on earth am I going to do? <laughs> Gee, I wish I could afford a shower, but I've only got this bucket. Gee, Edward, your colander hand makes a great impromptu show to you. I don't go into libraries because I've discovered that it is impossible for me to be sat in a library for more than 45 seconds without developing a non-negotiable hard-on. <laughs> I think it's not just me. I reckon that when he goes into a library, even Bernard Levin must feel his prim, withered on the vine, austerity years genitals stirring across and up the left-hand side of his grey worsted pants. <laughs> Alternatively, Barry White must explode. I thought so. The libido is like a character in the Beano. Whenever it's most supposed to stay clean, tidy and quiet, you know, that's when it's going to get dirty. It's the silence and those quiet please signs. They just make it worse. 